Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. The last non-holiday vlog video that I've done was my Walt Disney World haul. I mentioned in that that I was going to split it out and do my Walt Disney World haul, which is most of my merchandise, and then do a separate pin haul, um, just because as always, I bought quite a few pins. Um, not as much as last time, definitely improved, but enough that they kind of merited their own video. I'm not gonna waffle too much, I'm just gonna get on into it. So yeah, let's see what I got. When I'm at Disney over a certain event, I really like to make a point of getting those event pins. On my last trip, I was there over the 2019 Flowering Garden Festival and I got three pins from that. So the first one, if you've watched my Walt Disney World haul, this is the same as the baseball shirt that I got. It's that Mickey and Friends Seed Company, which I just think is super, super cute. So I got this one. This was $15.99. Then I got this one. Obviously, this one has Donald on it. I can't resist Donald merchandise, so... Obviously if there's a Donald version of an event pin, the same way that if there's a Stitch version of an event pin, I'm pretty much going to get that one. And this one was $17.99. Obviously it's kind of got that sort of drop down, there's a little bit more going on with it in terms of a design versus the other one, so it was a little more expensive. And then the last one from the 2019 festival is the Figment one, so I really can't resist Figment, I think he's absolutely adorable. And again that was $17.99. I like to get the hotel pin. This time we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I have already stayed there so I do already have a pin from Animal Kingdom Lodge but it's actually a different pin so I was quite glad that they had a different design and this one is just marked as silver so I'm not sure how much silver would have been but that is the 2019 Animal Kingdom Lodge pin. Speaking of 2019 and Stitch as well I had to obviously get a pin with the year on it and I got the Stitch one. This one was marked as yellow. And then the last sort of event or time pin is this one which just says let's celebrate and it's for Mickey's 90th birthday so it does have the 90 up there on the cake. It's quite hidden into, it's quite a busy design so you could quite easily miss it. And this one was silver as well. I got that one just because obviously the Mickey's birthday stuff was going on whilst we were there. Now that I've done the kind of event pins I think what I'll do is the pins that I've got that I bought that are on um, like backers and in boxes and then after I've done them I will do the pins that I traded for or the blind bag pins that I bought and kept. So um, this bag has got all of my pins that are on backers in it. I won't be doing these in any particular order, I'll just be pulling them out. The pop-up books pin set where they're releasing a new one every month. The release date was well we're away and it was Peter Pan which was just so appropriate because it's one of my favourite Disney films. So the front has got obviously Peter on it, you can see Wendy, Michael and John kind of silhouetted in the background and then it opens out. It's just silver on silver so you probably can't see here but I'll do a close up and it just says once upon a time Peter Pan was soaring above the rooftops of London looking for a shadow when he found the window of the Darlings and it's just got kind of 3D Peter sticking out over a rooftop scene and this one was $17.99. Speaking of limited edition pins and Peter Pan I got um, one of the Disney Disguises pins. So I actually, on the back here, if you guys can see this, they had a Peter Pan um, pin in this range, which is one I would really have liked. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that one, but I did manage to get the Cogsworth one, and Cogsworth is just one of my favourite characters, so I was more than happy with that one. So I know that that's that one. I haven't opened this because I was waiting to do it on camera. I bought it one of the last days in some of my vlogs if you guys have watched them. If I've got like blind bag pins I've opened them that night at the hotel with you guys but this one I kept so let's open it and see what the second mystery pin in here is in my little blind bag. I've got, oh, I've got Jafar from Aladdin when he's the, the man down in the dungeon. Not a massive Jafar fan but I do generally like Aladdin as a film so not upset with that but I'm not like there's other ones I would have probably liked better but maybe it just gives me something to trade with next time. This was another limited edition one so it was $17.99 and this is from the Sleeping Beauty 60th anniversary of the film so it's the Maleficent dragon and then the wings open out and you've got Maleficent herself in there in human form. Well it's close to fairy form I suppose, fairy form rather than human form. Another villain pin, this one was yellow, so back to codes rather than prices. Um, but I got this one, which is the Chernobog from Fantasia, who I just think is quite a cool villain, really. So picked that one up, because you don't generally get a lot of Chernobog merchandise. So I got this pin, which I just really liked. So it's, um, I think it's actually the Disneyland California castle that's on the front rather than the Walt Disney castle but that is appropriate because on the inside there is a picture of Walt so as you know, um, or as you may know, uh, Walt never actually 
saw the completed Florida project but he was in Disneyland California so that's why it's quite appropriate it's the Disneyland California castle even though I've not been to that park yet but I really want to go but you open it up you get this picture of Walt here and then up here it says it's kind of fun to do the impossible. Mine's is a little bit kind of um like some of them were really stiff to open this one's really easy to open. I bought this it was the only one that was at the stall that I bought it from and then I saw more later in the holiday but I am just going to put it in my pin bag so I suppose it doesn't hugely matter but I am trying to save up to start my own business just now. I find that quite an inspiring one to kind of try and keep me going when it seems like I'm never going to get to where I want to be. I thought that one would keep me focused. You can hear that like rattling even just with me kind of holding it and moving it so yeah I kind of wish I'd got one of the ones later but I didn't. There was only one of this when I bought it and once I bought it I was like I'm not going to return it to rebuy it do you know what I mean so so I just kept it but yeah so this was yellow so I'm not sure how much yellow was. The last pin that I've got on a backer, this one was silver. It's just a little Robin Hood pin and I really like Robin Hood but you don't tend to get that much Robin Hood merchandise so when I saw it I was like having you and now we're into this set of pins. Let me try and pull these out so that they're in some kind of semblance of an order. I've got two princess pins and they're two of my, well one princess pin, one arguably sort of princess pin. So the princess pin I got, um, one of my favourite princesses is Tiana and it's just a little kind of portrait of her so I traded for that. And then the other pin that I got is Mulan who always kind of gets put in with the princesses and I do it myself when I'm like oh princess like whatever but she's not technically a princess. But anyway I did say in my Walt Disney World haul, like my main merchandise haul, I feel like they're finally kind of producing more Milan merchandise where she's not in her matchmaker outfit so I got that and I was very pleased with that. Animated characters I got this little Stitch that I traded for. I thought he was just really cute obviously I love Stitch I collect Stitch things so when I saw him on one of the cast members lanyards and I think they asked to trade with me so I was just like yeah well I like your Stitch pin so I'll take that. My parents were like so bemused by the whole concept of pin trading but this pin is like my gran was very amused with this one it's like a kind of nappy pin or a diaper pin I suppose as they would say in America and it's a little piglet that's on it. Obviously I love Winnie the Pooh characters, piglet in particular, piglet in Eeyore so I collect Winnie the Pooh merchandise in general. I get two specifically Donald pins. This one I really like it's like a Mickey but designed to have kind of Donald within it and then this little Donald who just looks quite pleased with himself so I will add them to my Donald collection and then I also traded for this one which I thought was an excellent trade to get and it's Donald looking very you know adventury at the top of a mast looking out with an eyeglass and Pluto is underneath him looking a little bit more scared than Donald is so I got that I thought that was a really really good one that was a cast member that that traded with me and he only had really good ones because I think he took one of my little like tiny blind bag ones and I was like oh I feel terrible taking this in return but excellent pin so it benefited me. I got this one I might trade this on I'm not sure it's a little Dumbo one and I do like Dumbo but it says pin trading fun day 2017 I think I'll potentially be trading that on in my next trip. I got this little Oswald pin and I did I think unbag him in my first Disney vlog so you might have seen him already if you've watched that but yeah I thought he was really really cute so I kept a hold of him and now we're on to the series so I did in my first vlog you'll have seen that I unboxed they had a kind of a villains versus heroes set that I bought and you got five in it I've traded three of them off obviously because I have two left two that I kept are Hercules and Basil the Great Mouse Detective so I am hoping on my next trip to try and get the Vatican and the Hades to to match these two so that is a new kind of set. I'm not going to try and collect the whole set, I just want um, the Vatican and the Hades to match the two heroes that I have. I did get two more of the Disney Cats and Dogs range so it's quite good because I've got Oliver and Dodger so far from Oliver and Company um, and the other two that I managed to get on this trip were Lady and the Tramp who are another two that kind of go together, they're from the same film so I'm quite glad that I've got them to add to my Disney Cats and Dogs collection. It's stretching it because I've now got four but we'll call it a collection now because now I have four rather than two. I was hoping to try and get the whole set of these when I was on holiday, didn't quite manage it but I did get another two 
um, of my Winnie the Pooh silhouettes. So I got Rabbit and Eeyore whilst we were away. So I had Owl and Piglet before I went. So I still need to get Winnie and Tigger and I believe Kang is in there as well. So yeah, a few still to get but hopefully next time we can complete that set. Those are all of the pins that I got on this trip. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye.